Taurus singles, welcome. It's Monday. That's Aries Taurus Day here for the heart spread. That's if you have someone on your mind in your heart. In this one, meet the soulmate, and this is a completely, totally singles read. Um, I love this reading. It's an always positive read because I'm simply asking Spirit who is the right one for you. So don't worry if you see scary cards. There's, uh, you really can't, it's hard to be triggered. I guess you can't always be triggered. I get it. Believe me, I get it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's not triggering grief. See the three of uh, swords. Nobody's breaking up with you. Because it's just simply uh, try to describe their personality, behavior, get some personal stories, personal history. Um, maybe look at what they do. Um, and their astrological signs, I pick up a lot on that, so be prepared to look at their astrological chart, you know, easy to do these days, guys. So also, I, over the weekend, I put up all 12 signs, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so it's Taurus is there, which is a special Mercury retrograde reading, which is kind of going back and looking at... Uh, Whoever it is, it might be the one that's got away for you, or the one that you can't get off your mind. And this be, you could be single, you could be coupled. It's just picking up on that energy, because I think there might be something there that's helpful for us spiritually, emotionally, um, to get at. That's what it's about, so check it out. It's not that long. I don't think any of them are over, much over 15 minutes. I try to be respectful, not go too long-winded on Sag. I'm going to start you in just a minute. Now, this is just meant to describe your person, that's all. Um, I can see if there's someone you probably haven't even met yet. Well, let me know. Look ahead. Check it. You can know, just ask them their birth date. You'll know if their astrology matches up. That's easy. I hope. Okay, thank you, guys. Looking at their emotional aspects. Ace of Pentacles. It's the first of the four pillars that look at in the Knight of Cups. I like it. Um, second pillar, intellectual, four cups. Interesting. And the Queen of Wands, a little bit above and below is a card spread. Look at the conscious, look at the unconscious. Sexual love nature, Queen of Pentacles here. And we have the King of Pentacles there uh, right off the bat. I'll come back to that, but uh, very powerful too. Um, their Venus and Mars energy is well placed, and it's in an Earth sign for sure. Okay, core values and lifestyle chariot. Wow, there's two indications. It's fascinating. I swear to God, my own readings fascinate me. <laughs> I really do. Five of Wands, this is in their core values and lifestyle. You know, usually um, the first here is the emotional, the childhood. I see here the moon. Um, here's the intellect, the sun, sometimes Mercury. Uh, Venus and love and Mars and sex here. Um, and usually the intellect will line up here with core values and lifestyle. We might see their career. Um, and we have this uh, Four of Cups here that's really significant. So, a uh, story they will tell you, um, they made a decision um, probably to go against, uh, like they were supposed to go into the family business, and they're like, no, you know, I'm going to be an artist or a musician or whatever, or a doctor. Or they were supposed to be a doctor, and they said, no, I'm going to be an artist. They, they really strongly broke uh, from something and showed a great disinterest in it, you know. Uh, but I think it's because with the Queen of Wands, they discovered their passions. This story they will tell you. It's a strong story for them. You know, kind of almost we are the stories we tell. Um, and this is of them kind of finding their passion in life. I feel like they have a Taurus moon. Yeah. And probably a romantic nature, uh, kind of a soft uh, nature feel to them. Um, we artists is coming through. We never felt to come through that strong with this uh, Taurus person here. 
Uh, I'm not saying they're a Taurus here. The, the Taurus moon is strong. I think you might be dealing with a Pisces sun, though. So Pisces sun and the intellect. And um, here you may have an Aries Mercury to go with it. And their Mercury here, it's serving this artwork. It's serving, you know, it's like they, they have, uh, and you see it with the chariot too and the five of wands. Um, the chariot here in lifestyle core values, them really taking their own path, a different path. You know, whatever they do, it's different. I mean, if they're an artist, they're not just any old artist. They're something specific something different here um and this was something they pretty much decided in adolescence college something like that uh, young adulthood there's a sudden like change i'm positive that story's there and it was i think the reason it's so meaningful for them because you know they have a earth venus uh and if we have a Pisces, I think this is going to be, they got a Taurus Venus and a Taurus Mars and a Taurus Sun. They could all be conjunct. They're at least in the same sign. Um, but so they're Pisces, but they have all this Taurus energy. So classically, why people don't believe in astrology, well, I'm a Pisces and they say we're like this. And I'm, I'm more like my friend who's a Taurus and he's a totally different sign. Well, you know, you've got your Venus and Mars. And your moon in Taurus, and you know, Venus um, set home there, it's a great place uh, for that. And Mars doesn't do bad in Taurus either, you know. But it would be someone who would be probably wanting to stick to traditions. So I think there's a little bit of bucking the uh, system. You know, I mean, they could have come from a religious background that didn't approve of what it is that they do in some way. I mean, there's some religious background, apparently you're not allowed to dance, so maybe they dance. But it'd be that kind of an energy to them. It would have been like a big deal because it would be, you know, it's almost like they were born to follow traditions, to go into the family business could go that way, most simply. Um, but they just felt really compelled. This may have kicked in with hormones at adolescence and builded, uh, built, <laughs> builded, uh, build it up, yeah, uh, over uh, periods of time, you know, so that by the time they kind of worked through things and discovered themselves and were like end of uh, high school, college, you know, they begin to have this burning desire to do what it is that they do. And with the Knight of Cups facing to it, Two and the four cups up here, and then the chariot. It's uh, it's not so much that they're emotional, uh, but their emotions play a big part in what they do, like a big part. They really drive their emotions into what they do, and um, probably not in a really obvious way. I just got artists here, big time. This is some kind of artist. They create something. Now, in terms of the way they love and the sexuality, um, they'd be very fixed. Um, so they're probably not going to have a lot of partners from the past. If they have any age, it'd be some. They may have uh, spent time. Um, they may have spent time uh, alone, a uh, single. Um, this person, but I say alone because I mean this could be the kind of person. I mean they could be, have a big studio. Uh, that they kind of haunt, you know, and there's canvases everywhere. It could be that type of energy, really feeling it. Um, and um, it kind of be happy with that, you know. Um, I think they're really self-contained. The way this moon and Venus and Mars all work together here for them, um, it allows them to be solid somehow. Um, so they have money that they need. But in terms of like their career, it's like a constant process for them with the chariot and the five of wands. It's kind of fascinating. I tell you about this, what they've gone through in their career. But it would be some constant process of uh, leveling up and in a way of like uh, 
like a, they would go so far and outside the if they're an artist they're doing something that's avant-garde even to the avant-garde artist and they're like what is that you know you've, you've gone too far and then eventually the others catch up to them and as soon as everybody else starts doing the same thing that they started now they've got to do something different and level up again it's like they have to outdo themselves outdo themselves and and they do it <laughs> A chariot they do it it's like that's their destiny you know so and they could have this feeling like they're being driven in a direction and trying always to find it whatever this art is that they have it's an expression of something spiritual something real like art can only express that something that's beyond articulation of words that only art can fill um, and so this would be a lifelong like thing where they would always, if you, if you and your life would become then a part of this uh, search uh, for them. And they're capable, they, they want like a very peaceful surroundings. They want a lovely home. They wouldn't uh, tolerate a lot of noise and distractions, uh, 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 drama, uh, uh, none of that. Um, you'll find in their home things are in their place. Their, their home would be beautiful, no matter, they would make it beautiful, no matter what they had to do. Um, to make that happen and they may do that they may have moved around a good bit in their life um, somehow in pursuing uh, what it is that they do here but wherever they go you know they're going to bring to their living space a sense of comfort and security and a kind of groundedness I'd see like a lot of plants around uh, you know, maybe maybe water features, you know, dripping water, this kind of thing. Um, you know, even like could be meditative music playing, you know, just it, it wouldn't be any uh, sense of dis-ease around this person. It would be a sense of ease uh, with them. And like well, their living space would be like a sanctuary and likely, you know, jam-packed one way or another with uh, examples of whatever it is that this person creates please do let me know guys give me a like give me a thumbs up do subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and check out the soul family reads up every day a collective read for whoever resonates and uh, let me know if you re relate to any of the mercury retrograde readings that did uh, over the weekend if that uh, touches you I appreciate it guys